Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of myth busting because I know that most people would think they don't need a 7 wood, but we are seeing a lot more PGA Tour players put them in the bag. It started with Dustin Johnson a couple of years ago adding a 7 wood, and it kind of got the conversation going. So now, Fred and I are going to see if a 7 wood is something that we need in our bags. So we're going to start out here at Golf Tech to get some data from our 7 woods. Hannah's got the Paradigm Callaway Paradigm 7 wood and I got the Ping G430 7 wood. This is actually exactly the 7 wood that Victor Hovland put into play at Augusta. So according to Golf Tech, a lot of golfers are using driving irons or maybe even 3 irons that might not be the perfect fit for their game. So you have to have a certain club speed to be able to put enough spin on that ball to actually get the benefits from a three iron or a driving iron. And they're telling us that most players should actually use seven woods instead of driving irons. So we're gonna figure out if that's true today. Stay tuned. So back in college, I used to have all the way up to four iron in my iron set. And I've learned since then that there's not almost any LPGA Tour players that have that setup. Most of them go into a hybrid or something like this, a seven wood. So I'm gonna test this three iron out. I don't see myself getting this up in the air enough for it to even hold a green. Um, I don't, I'm not a high speed or a high spin player. So we're gonna see what the launch and descent angle of this looks like compared to this. First shot with a driving iron here. Good swing. Oh, normal for Hannah, hitting it dead straight it down the middle. Low already. It, it looks it low. Does. So why don't you start out by hitting three shots with a driving iron, and we look at the numbers, right? Okay. Not a good one. It's like landing on that person. <laughs> so two solid hits, right? Yeah. My issue with these has always been, and I am hitting it higher now with my swing than I ever have before. I have never been able to hit this high enough so that it stops on firm greens, yep. which is pretty common for people with my club speed. It's great if you want to hit stingers all day though. Yes. <laughs> this would be a good stinger club. It sounded like a whip. <laughs> you hit that piece of there. Yeah, I hit that one good. Nice. Not a good one. Alright, let's look at the data. Okay. Alright, we got the expert here. What are you thinking about this data here with the Driving iron for Hannah. Honestly, descending was a little low. Yeah, it's We're a little not low. Creating isn't it? any stopping power, living around that 37 descent angle. So, let's get you into something like yeah. a seven wood. Get that and descent angle up. Yeah. The spin is like a thousand RPMs too low, too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna hit the front of the green. It's going to Just shoot rocket. towards the back. <laughs> that is like exactly what I do not want. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, no. Okay, now we're gonna test out this one. We're looking for about 10 degrees more of descent angle and like. A thousand more RPMs of spin. At least. Yeah. Which one you got there? Is that the paradigm? the paradigm? The new Paradigm? Yeah, Paradigm 7 wood. It's 21 degrees. And I have this Ventus shaft in it. It feels so short to me after hitting that 3 iron. So <laughs> it's kind of nice. And you already got fitted for that at Golf Deck. So we know this is a good yeah. one, yeah? Did it feel like perfect? Wow, look at that. Okay. Right, it's a little bit higher. Yeah. Two yards off the center yeah. line. Slightly tugged. I think that one was better actually. I think the other one was pushed. Really? Okay. Last one. Uh, is it going to hit the line? Is it going to hit the line? No. Oh. Bam. But those were three good shots, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I missed one a little, but it seemed like it still went about the right distance. So okay, that's perfect. Good. Okay, we're calling in the expert again. Let's take a look. Oh wow. Like so much better already. <laughs> 44 average, 1,000 more RPM to spin. Yeah, I think you could stop that on the green. Yeah, I think this is better. There you go. So, the other one was around, what was the other one? About 38 descent. Yeah. yeah. RPMs were about 1,000 less. So, in general, do you believe that most amateurs would definitely benefit from a 7 wood Absolutely. compared to like a, yeah? There is maybe a handful of people I would throw a driving iron in their hands and one of them's holding the camera. Yeah, so, yeah. So you think like, if your swing speed is under 105, just n makes no sense to have one. No, yeah. I mean, 
they see it on YouTube, seeing Tiger hit their yeah. stingers off the tee, they think it's cool, but how many times are they going to hit it perfect yeah. when they need to? It's not functional, right? No. Yeah. It's a cool club to have. Yeah. I've had plenty of them, but I don't play them. Maybe yeah. it's cooler to shoot better scores, though. Honestly, isn't? one thing about this <laughs> that I didn't know when I got it, too, is you can get these out of the rough. Oh, like, yeah. It seems like you wouldn't be able to because I know everyone's used to having a three wood that you can't hit out of the rough. But these get out of the rough. Like they will just shoot your ball out. It's so nice to have. I think the last part of the video we will go to the golf course and, and actually test, test that. Yeah. yeah, for yep. sure. All right, well, now it's my turn. All right, my turn. Uh, we've got the driving iron here in the seven wood. We're going to see, first of all, if my descent angle is steep enough with the driving iron to actually hold greens. And then we're gonna see if the seven wood just absolutely plugs. If it's too high, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, Braden and the rest of the guys here at Golf This says if anyone can handle a driving iron, it's a high speed guy, which I think I classify for swinging it at above 120 with driver. Uh, so, we'll see if he's right. First shot here, three iron, driving iron. Really good shot, slightly left, but very close to the center line. Take it. Another one slightly left. That one's pretty much dead straight. Okay, three decent shot there. So, uh, Brandon was right, my descent angle is definitely higher, close to your seven wood. So, by the looks of it, I can definitely kind of handle it, but there's still a significant, you can see the first one here kind of ran out quite a lot still. All of them are still kind of running out at least 15 yards, which uh, could be difficult to hold really firm green. So. Uh, tour players put seven woods in uh, for a reason. Some courses are have a lot firmer greens and maybe a lot thick rough, so that's why they use it. So we're gonna see what kind of numbers I get with the seven wood, and it might be able to explain to why good high speed guys still use seven woods. First swing with the seven wood. Ooh, that's a hand of seven. Hit the line. Hit it. Come on. Oh, ah. No, nope, miss the line. <laughs> All right, good start. You do hit that thing so straight. I do, but it's just, when you look down at this and you see that much loft and a big head, it just feels like you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, so, and the shaft is really short too, so it just looks like a club designed to not be able to miss, which is a good feel. Let's try again. one more, second shot. Yeah, hey, look at this. Oh, that was a little bit right. Like five yards. Right? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, you're gonna see the roll up. This looks like it's nothing here. Okay, hit one more. Shot. Really good. What yeah. I really like with those there is that you can see that I hate the left miss, and with the driving iron, you could still see I tend to hit a couple shots to the left. But with the seven wood, it's dead straight or almost fading, so I'm getting rid of that miss that I absolutely hate with the seven wood, which is massive for me, obviously. But let's look at the data. You can see the descent angle is pretty much 10 degrees more compared to the driving iron and it spins a significant amount more as well and the rollout is just a little bit less so definitely the ball is launching higher spins more and it's going to stop a lot quicker with the seven wood and in a lot of tournaments that i play as a professional the greens are normally a lot firmer so this is definitely beneficial obviously if it's a super windy day you probably want to keep something a little bit lower, but I also got to take into consideration the fact that I hit the seven wood straight with a little fade compared to the driving iron where I kind of hit that lower left miss that I absolutely hate. So consistently wise with the flight and everything, the seven wood is really performing. So it's going to be fun. Now we have the data. We know that Hannah should definitely not play it no matter what. 
it might be a little bit different story for me, but we're gonna go out on the course now and I'm super uh, excited to see the difference from some different lies out there. So a shot in the rough, maybe a downhill lie to see if the seven wood can really perform out on the course, the course as well. So let's do that. All right, so we've gone out to the golf course and we're on the driver inch here a little bit to the side and we found a spot with some deep rough. And not only that, we also got some trees right in front of us here and this is going to be a good test to see how these clubs perform out of the rough. Obviously, my thought is that the seven wood is going to perform a lot better than the driving iron. My guess is that the driving iron from this type of lie is just going to come out low and screaming and roll forever uh, and not be able to kind of carry something or hit over a tree or anything else where the seven wood I think we'll be able to so we'll see we start out with a driving iron my goal here is only to try to hit it over those trees there Whoa. yeah in the tree no chance <laughs> yeah that, no chance that ball came out like an absolute rocket all right, let's see if the seven wood is any better. That ball is 50 yards over the trees. I didn't hear anything. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it feels like you can get it out, out of anything here. I'm gonna hit one more. I'm gonna literally stomp on it. Oh, <laughs> that is, can you even see the ball from there? I can yeah, see you, a little bit of it. Barely. See if I can get it over even from this slide. Just over. Wow. All right, you give it a go. Okay. All right, so show people the nestle it down there yeah. real good. Oh, that's not good enough. All right, so we're gonna show people how deep this rough is. Yeah, right down there. It looks almost plugged from the side. All right. I have low hopes for this. Yeah. I would say this is going to be a tough shot. This is one in a tournament where Fred would say, go out to the side. Yeah, <laughs> grab the wedge and hack yeah. it out. All right, let's see if you can... Yeah, this is not no chance, but let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> it bounced yeah. before the trees. That's about right. Like, yeah, no high, chance, high right? on the face. And... <laughs> yeah, no, hate that. All right, let's see the seven wood. Get up, get up, get up. Oh no, the last breath! <laughs> oh, get over, get over, get over, get over. Yes! <laughs> I mean, that is a massive difference. So if you don't know, the reason that the ball kicks up into the air is speed. So I don't have the speed that Fred has. He can maybe get away with that if he has 10 tries with a driving iron but for me even if i try to get steep on it and like use every trick in the book there's just no way that i have enough speed to get it out of there and kick it up so unless you hit every single fairway at every course you play you're kind of joking yourself to think that you don't need something like this with a little more loft to kick it up and on top of it out of the fairway this is going to stop faster so you can make you have a little more room for error with something like this to make your game easier when you miss it. Why make it harder? Yeah, when why do you want golf to be hard? Even <laughs> the PGA Tour players using seven exactly. woods. If you're not swinging it over at least 110 miles per hour, you definitely should consider a seven wood instead of a driving iron. Totally. Every day. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> so there you have it guys, the seven wood. Both Hannah and I got fitted into our seven woods at Golf Tech. Every club in your bag should be fitted for your game for optimal performance. And if you're playing a driving iron or maybe even a three iron, definitely consider get fitted into a seven wood or at least give it a try at your nearest Golf Tech location. They have it all. See you next time.